stiff wear. Stiff wear. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Do y'all? Do y'all? Lace wear. Not here. Not here. Ain't no lace over here, baby. Ain't no. Hey everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. As I see from time down below, y'all, we are trying another wig. Y'all can obviously see the bonnet as well. Today's wig is Miss Butter Unit 6 from Sensational Butter Lace line. And we got it in the color Money Cheese Hazel. Y'all, I really been liking doing the wigs. Just giving my hair a break from I was manipulating it. But let's get this out of the packaging. I heard a whole lot of um good reviews on these so i'm hoping it's good and on the back it says that i guess this line is supposed to be they're supposed to have virtually undetectable hd lace so we gonna we're gonna see because y'all know i'm a beginner still i don't really know what i'm doing for real for real so if it's really undetectable y'all gonna know but yeah you already know this is not sponsored none of that at all we paid for this with our own hard work, college coins, baby. Y'all, they packaged Miss Butter Unit 6 real good. Real good. Okay, so here is the stock piece. It's probably a little glary. But that is how Miss Butter Unit 6 looks like. It claims to have a wider parting ear to ear lace. It's safe up to 350 to 400 Fahrenheit and it's 100% premium fiber. Um, and it's supposed to be like a wet lace sort of thing. So it's supposed to blend in well. Um, as it's supposed to be pre-plugged with baby hair and a natural density hairline. So y'all already know, I'm pretty sure y'all seen a whole lot of other videos too. So this is a straight wig if y'all could not tell by now. She's a nice length. She's cute, y'all see, y'all see the color. I want to try something new because like I always do black, I always do 1B all the time, but I want to try something new. It's like a nice ombre-ish effect that you get from it. And y'all can see the baby hairs in the front already. It's pretty long. Let's get to the inside cap construction. It feels really light, y'all, like, it feels like there's a lot of hair on this, but it's very like, especially compared to like the other wigs that I've tried before. But there are two combs in the front on both sides. And then there's one comb in the back. So pretty much standard. And then the inside, you just get that one line, you just get that one middle part and you get all the front. So this is only a middle part wig, but we'll see if we can switch it around. It's looking like the parting may be getting, we won't need any plucking. I'm gonna hope that we don't need no plucking because I'm not trying to do no plucking, but let's go ahead and get this on our head. Of course, you already know. Got the wig cap on, we was prepared. We was prepared today. If y'all see me looking over here, it's because like my mirror is over here. Y'all are over here. <laughs> okay, so it fits pretty good and I consider myself to have a big head. And it's a little snug, like it's not dumb tight or anything, but it's fitting really good on my head. Okay, it's something new. I gotta get used to the color, y'all. I gotta get used to the color. So let's see. Y'all, the lace is actually, to me, it is blending pretty good i mean i'm still gonna go in and just do a little bit of um tinting just to make it look a little bit more natural but it's not bad it's not bad coming straight out the box let's show y'all how it looks already it's just like we just gotta do a little bit just to make it fully blend in so actually i'm gonna cut it first and then i'm gonna try to blend it in just because we're gonna do this glue list if y'all ain't know, we not going, we not at the point where we glue and stuff on my head just yet. 
But one day we might get there. You might get there one day. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it into three sections and then I'm going to cut off the front of the lace. But y'all, now that I'm actually looking at it closer, this, like my hairline, if you can see, comes right there still and like down here. And it's not looking like it would cover, but it's okay, cause it's a middle part. So hopefully you won't be able to see that. I don't know. We gonna figure it out. We still cutting it up. We gonna cut. Okay, y'all, so we have cut the lace. I'm gonna say this lace is like thin, so it's really easy to cut, which kind of made it hard to like do like little jacket edges or whatever. I know that they're like still see a lace. It's like still a good amount of lace left, but I want to tint it first and then see where I need to cut so I don't like cut too much too soon, you know? But I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's, it's growing on me as we get into it. So let's pop this right back off real quick. And to tint it today, I'm going to be using, I picked this up after I tried the other wig because I've been seeing a whole lot of people use it. Is the Even Tinted Lace Spray. I use this after like the other wig and it really makes the lace, at least for me, melt look better and i have mine in the color medium brown so i don't know it was a it was tough trying to figure out which one to get but once you figure out which one will match your skin tone best or your scalp color best then it works from there so i'm gonna just spray this and then i'm gonna blow dry it to set it real quick Okay, so I feel like it has set in. So we're gonna go back and put this back on our scalp. But I, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna like, I think it's gonna melt better than how it was looking before. Okay, miss a butter lace. Miss a butter lace. Okay, so let me just come up to y'all. It's looking melted to me, but of course, like y'all know, like I said earlier, there is just a little bit too much lace than I would like So in the front. So I'm gonna go through and just try to cut that a little bit. I'm gonna hope I don't mess it up. But I think it could, I think it could cut a little bit more in the front at least. Okay, y'all, so I do think I cut a little bit much that time, so I had to forego some of our precious edges. If y'all could see, some hair came out. But I definitely think we're undetectable, so Miss Butter Lace from Sensational is doing what it needs to do. Let's comb this out real quick. Um, combing it, I'm not getting any tangles out the box i'm pretty sure since i did just cut some of that front 
I will see some shedding, but not too much. Probably just like one strand. There is some other wig hair in here that I can't get out as well. So we're not gonna charge all the hair in this brush to bun lace. But stiff well. Stiff well. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sorry. It's looking like very much giving me very much came out my scalp you know so honestly on a normal day I probably would just leave it just like this because I'm not a big person on edges even with my natural hair it's just not something that I do but we are gonna try to do a little something something you know and from the last time that I did a wig on here and I tried doing the edges sometimes when you do the edges it helps lay your lace a little bit better if you're going for a glueless look because like your edges are down so it's keeping that lace down and not like flying up or whatever so we're gonna try to do a little sun something a little sun something but not too much because like i said i'm not i don't really know how to do edges for real for real and i feel like the whole point of wearing like other other sorts of styles is to do it somewhat in a way of where it would still look like how you would usually do your hair so people know me know i don't do my edges on a normal so you're definitely gonna clock that i'm wearing a wig if you see me wearing some edges or something because i don't normally do edges i think i cut all the edges off <laughs> on this side so i might have to make some I might have to make some edges over here, but we gonna see. We gonna see what we can work with. It's not much because I, like I said, I did cut off most of the edges that were in the front by accident. I think I'm gonna go with this. Um, This is just the Even New York Extra Firm Hold 48 Hour Edge Tamer. Y'all can see that. This is what I'm going to go in with okay so i did tell y'all i wasn't going to do the most i just did a little something simple just a little something simple in the front just a little swoopy swoopy Let's put these back down. Let's see how it looks, y'all. The color is growing on me. It's different, for sure. It's different. But it's giving me very much chocolate. And I'm a chocolate girl, so. It's giving me very much complimenting my skin tone. Um. So, yeah, I do think I really do like this wig for sure i would say it's very beginner friendly let me comb this out do y'all see this do y'all see this do y'all do y'all lace well not here not here ain't no lace over here baby ain't no oh Whose hair is this? It's mine. You don't. You don't. <laughs> Baby. Okay, but let me stop playing too much because this is synthetic and it will tangle up on you, girl. But let's get into how I feel about this wig. Um, I would definitely say it's most definitely beginner friendly. Like y'all know, I don't know or do too much with wigs. And the fact that all I had to do was just spray a little lace tint spray to get to match my skin tone and literally cut off the lace. You don't even really even need to do baby hair or edges because I don't really know what I'm doing. And I probably on a normal day will probably not do much with these edges. So I would say it's definitely beginner friendly. So if you are looking for a wig to start off with, I would suggest this one to go with for sure. And like, I didn't even need to go through and press down the top to make everything stay. It's very flat. There is a lot of hair in it. Like you can feel back here. You see that ponytail? There is a lot of hair in it. 
but it doesn't feel heavy. Like it feels like you would be able to wear this in the summer and not feel like, oh my gosh, this is too much hair on my head right now. So I would definitely suggest that if you wanted to, you could go through and probably like curl this part to like give you that little hump or whatever. But since I not laying my edges or gluing it down, I'm not really doing none of that. But I think you would still be able to do that if you did go through and glue it down. Also, like y'all saw earlier with the brush, no tangles at all. No shedded hair just coming out of it, at least out the pack. But we will see how it goes as I wear it. But it seems pretty good. The coloring on this is also pretty good. It's not like a oh black and then brown. It's kind of like they have like a darker brown up at the top and it's a nice ombre. And I also do like the little two light colors in the front. That's very cute to me. It's They did a nice color job on this for sure. Um, Any cons? I don't really think I have any cons. Like I keep looking in the mirror over here to like see if there's anything about it. I don't have any cons right now. If I were to nitpick about anything, I would say just look at the part. The parting is not bad for me personally because when you part my hair, it's not like a big gaping part or whatever like how some other people be trying to do. So I think the parting is okay. It's not like too, too skinny. It's perfectly fine. But if you did want to go through, you could go through and open it up a little bit. But honestly, I don't see that being necessary to do, which is why I go back to it being beginner friendly. And honestly, you really can't see the knots. Once you like lay or once you tint your lace, you really can't see the knots at all. Let me get up close and personal with y'all. You really can't see it for real, for real. So I like it and it's not too shiny either. Like I know a lot of people say that a lot of wigs are shiny. This isn't too shiny to where you could tell from like a mile away that, oh, that girl is wearing a wig for sure. One con for sure that I will say, if you are someone who does want to glue this down or if you want to do any style where you're like pulling it up or whatever when it's glued down, if you have a big head, that's not going, that's not going to work. The cap is comfy, like the cap isn't tight on me at all, but it doesn't, at least for the hairline that I have, like I showed y'all earlier, here is my actual hair and edges and the lace only comes to right there. So if I wanted to glue this down and do like the ball cap method, that would not work because my hair is already out. Also with like the sideburn area, it's barely making it there. For it to get all the way down, you would really need to tug on this side and I'm pretty sure that your other side wouldn't also be able to get down and cover the hair. So I will say that I don't think that if you have a bigger head, I don't think this is a wig that you might wanna glue down because it's probably not gonna work. But honestly, in my opinion, when you're wearing synthetic wigs, I don't see why you're gluing down a synthetic wig. It's not really meant to stay on your head 24 seven. So. That's just my take on that. But that is another con that I would say, this wig is definitely not, this wig is definitely not ear to ear. Like, it's ear to ear, but like, it's really not ear to ear. I'm pretty sure y'all get what I'm trying to say. So, here is the front. Here is the front. I do that thing that everybody say. It's, it's giving me very much silk press on the side. Very much just got out the salon, just got your hair cut, wash, cut, silk press from the salon. Here is the back. Y'all let me know, do y'all see any tracks? I guess I'll see when I edit. Here's the also from the back. Um, Just show y'all how long it goes. It's sitting at almost above my butt. But kind of like low back. Not really almost above my butt, but like low back. This was Miss Butter Lace Unit 6. I would definitely recommend for a beginner to start out with. It's cute. And the color is growing on me. At the beginning, I was little. I don't really know about it. But the color is growing on me. And I'm pretty sure you could find this at like anywhere. Sam's Beauty wig types. Probably in your local beauty supply. Who knows? 
but if y'all want to see more videos like this or if y'all have any tips most definitely give me any tips down below because of course like i told y'all i am a beginner so i am trying to get used to all of this learn all the tips and tricks so if you know anything leave them down in the comment section down below also if you have a recommendation of another wig that i should try let me know that down below as well because i'm always looking out trying to give my natural hair a break from being touched so wigs are about to be we're about to be in a wig season for real for real make sure you subscribe right now and hit the notification bell just so you can stay updated when the next video comes out and follow me on instagram my ipc with jay because of course i post way more often on there you'll probably see this hair before it hits youtube on there as well and i get like all the inside scoop from y'all on there as well and remember that i love you guys so much and my name is sincerely Dree, and i'll see y'all in the next video bye